In Burlington, the Board of Police Commissioners met virtually for the first time since Governor Phil Scott's stay-at-home order, offering some insight on how the police department has enforced it so far. Here now is Local 22's Devin Bates. These orders have forced essential workers to change day-to-day -day aspects of their job, and for police officers, that's meant a drop in calls and a change in how they handle minor offenses. Deputy Chief John Mirad had the call statistics from March 15th to May 1st. Last year during that same period, there were 3,432. Uh, this year, there have been 2,607. So uh, a significant drop off. Um, arrests also significantly down. Despite now having the ability to write tickets for those who violate the stay home, stay safe order, the Burlington Police Department hasn't had to. When it comes to minor incidents unrelated to that order, Interim Chief Jennifer Morrison said the court system's near standstill has to be taken into account. There are many minor offenses that are not, that are either not being pursued uh, so as to avoid a huge glut when the courts open back up, and also there's um, low level offenses that we more than in the past that we would channel through to alternative uh, processes at the community justice center. There have been varying increases in incidents like domestic violence and commercial burglaries and the city saw a two week period with four shooting incidents. Deputy Chief John Mirad, however, said a large number of concerned residents have been calling about an uptick in graffiti. The people that would commit graffiti crime have more leeway to do so on empty streets and the opportunities that we have to mitigate graffiti crime through painting and, and uh, covering has been minimized, was minimized for a long time owing to the fact that we were just as obligated to obey the governor's stay home, stay safe order as anyone and we could not send crews out. The department volunteered seven officers to be part of the statewide contact tracing team, but they weren't needed. Now there's hypothetical talks about how those officers could still put that training to work. How could we use them not only uh, just for the PD to keep our, our people in our building safe, but for the whole city? If there's a, a situation where there's an outbreak in the city, could we be useful? So, or it, I guess another outcome would be, what if we have a second wave of, of this and the state's team gets o overwhelmed? Interim Chief Morrison also said PPE availability for officers has come a long way since the early days of the pandemic. She credited that to state contributions as well as donations from private companies. In Burlington, Devin Bates, Local 22 News.